this video demonstrate how to extend an existing user model uh, and add custom fields okay first we need to create a Django uh, project and application so let me create a project first so let me create a project name my project okay so you can see that here ls my project so go to that folder my project folder and then then create a create an application so for that you can use this command startup then name app1 so i am going to create an application named app1 in django project named my project okay so here we can see that application app1 so i created a project and application okay then then go to the file models.py of application app1 and put these codes there so go to app1 there you can see one file named models.py open that and and put this code here so it will import user model then then here it's creating a our custom model employee then this is important this one to one field so so actually this one to one relation with user will allow us to define our custom fields inside this class okay let me save this if you want to know more about this uh, this you can go to this documentation auth customizing extending user so here go to this documentation here it's it's explaining how to do this with this one to one relation okay so i will show it so i created a uh, custom model here so that has one to one relation with user then i added a custom field department here okay then then we need to add this add this our application app1 in settings.py go to settings.py then find installed up installed up here here we need to add app1 okay then save this then what we need to do is so go to go back go to your my project folder where this manage.py exist then run this command python manage.py sync db this will create the database so setting so so we need to so its problem is we need to activate picture environment so let me activate source then dot dot slash my env bin activate okay then run single db 
so it's chilling that database improperly configured so we need to configure database so go to my project settings dot by here we need to specify the database which we are going to use in this case i am going to use sqlite 3 so put that sqlite 3 name here then give a name for the data SQL da sqlite database for example db my db1 okay then save this file then run this single db again so it will it's creating created these tables so chassis would you like to create one user type yes your name email address password confirm password okay is created then then let me open this shell okay right now i am set that shell then import our user model the default django user model then then query one user from that model so this will query the old user and return the first user so let me check what is you so use the saju user so so according to documentation is telling we can access that our employee table like user object dot employee and you can accept this particular field like user object dot employee dot that field name department so let me try this u dot employee so this this will not work because does not exist use user has no employee because this employee table does not have any value so let me import employee table from app one dot models import employee so let me query from employee table see right now there is nothing in employee table that's why we are getting right, right now there is nothing in employee table related to this user object that's why we are getting this error when we are trying to access user dot employee so what we need to do we need to create a we need to make an entry in this employee table for this user so how, how we can do that create an object of this employee e is equal to employee then e dot user equal to this user object u then e dot department is equal to depart okay then what we need to v dot we need to save this so this will make an employee table okay then let me query this employee employee table so you can see right now there is an object in employee table so let me try this e dot employee again so now we will get that employee object then you can do employee dot department so then you will get that okay so so if you try to make and another entry in this table for a same user you think you will get error let me try let me try 
create an, another ob employee object e1 and i am trying to e dot user is equal to this order e dot department is equal to e dot save save Saved, it it can't save because so it, it will not throw any error. It will not throw any error. But this has one object only. It will not create multiple object in this employee table for for a particular user because this is a one to one fee one to one relation. It's as a one to one, one, this employee table has one to one relation with user table. So, this is how we can extend our existing user model and add custom fields. Okay. So, there is a one, one, one more way we can use proxy model. Let me open proxy model. So I haven't tried this proxy model. I will explain this in in the next video. Okay. Okay, if you so when you when you delete this user I think this will automatically delete the entry from this employee object let me try to delete you dot delete I think it will delete yes so Deleted, deleted from employee table. Uh, employee table, and it's also deleted from user table. So we don't need to uh, delete from the employee table. Delete from the user. That will automatically delete from the employee table also. Okay, but while creating, you need to put data in both table, user table and employee table that's what you need to um, remember when extending an existing user model okay So if you want to enable admin page for this M custom table, you can follow this documentation. Okay.